Hey everybody, tonight I'm going to be making soy honey glazed salmon with brown rice and broccoli in my ninja combi. And the first step in the directions is to place all level one ingredients, which are three cups of instant brown rice and three cups of water in the combi pan and stir to combine. So you will see I have one little cup. And I'm going to try to do this without running out of, see, and that's why you always buy a spare thing of rice, because life happens. So, I have um, the extra box. I just should have been a little more prepared, but it's all right. We'll go with it. Of course, no. Second one's a little full. And the cup that I used to measure with, I got in a different rice cooker that I bought forever ago. So there's your three cups and then three cups of water. There's two. Good enough. Put that off to the side. And yes, yeah, stick this in the combi on the bottom. And then we'll be ready to get the salmon ready. Kind of like that. I'll grab my big tray out of there. Okay. Now, moving on to the next part. It says. Put in a large bowl. You're going to combine the soy sauce, honey, olive oil, garlic, ginger, and chili paste in a large bowl. And with that being said, I need a half cup of soy sauce, which I have some low sodium soy sauce. Doesn't matter what you buy, as long as it's soy sauce. So, yes, we're going to be very slow at pouring this because I didn't take the little insert out, but that's all right. <laughs> we're getting closer, people. All right. That was a very slow half cup, but there's a half cup there. So I'm gonna... Yes. I can in just a minute, sweetie. All right, there's the half cup of soy sauce, and then it also calls for a third cup of honey. And so I'm just gonna use my same container, or measuring cup, I should say, because it does have the one third mark on it. And of course, my honey doesn't want to cooperate, so give me just a minute. All right, so I finally got my honey situation all figured out. My honey crystallized, as you can see, but I don't see it making a big difference because I'm going to whisk it all together anyway. So, once I get it all scraped in there, I can move on to the next set of ingredients that go in here. So, of course that's not going to cooperate, but that's all right. So, two tablespoons of olive oil also go in here. So, one, and two, and then 
We have garlic. So I had some fresh garlic, but I had it for entirely way too long. So it did not, it wasn't something that I was going to use. So thankfully Google has substitutions and it tells you exactly what you need. So with that being said, it said to substitute garlic powder, which equals one clove equals a quarter tablespoon of powder. So I'm going to add four of those quarter teaspoons in here. Two, three. All right, there's four of those. And don't mind my little girl. She's going to just help out. She doesn't feel very well, so she's just going to help out and we'll move on with that. And ginger, I have never worked with ground gin or regular ginger before, so it calls for one tablespoon of grated ginger. So I did something I've never done before. So here's one tablespoon of grated ginger that goes in. And chili paste. So I, of course, thought I had the right thing when I started this recipe. I, however, do not. This is chili garlic sauce. So it's going to be essentially the same thing. Actually, that's a lie because I have no idea. But for the sake of this, this is what I'm using because this is what I ended up with. And that is a teaspoon of that. And then it says to just whisk until it's all combined. So, and this might take a little bit just because my, of the honey, since I, you know, had it crystallized. So, had it sitting on the shelf for a little too long, but that's all right. And once it's combined, you're actually going to remove two tablespoons and reserve in a small bowl. So that was easy enough. So with that, here is a small bowl. And I know I just barely used this, so here's my tablespoon that I'm using. And one. And there would be your two tablespoons that I reserved. And then place the salmon in the large bowl and evenly cover in the sauce and allow to sit for five minutes. So, and the salmon fillets, you want frozen fillets and it says four to five, about six ounces each. So I'm going to unpackage these and get them soaking in here. I will show you guys what that looks like here in just a minute. All right, so that's kind of what it looks like. I have five fillets in there. You will notice two of my fillets are different than the other three because I used up the salmon I had left and then I just put in the new salmon that I bought. So it says to let it marinate for five minutes. So I am going to do that. All right, so while your salmon is marinating, the reserved two tablespoons of soy sauce mixture that you made, you're actually going to pour it in a separate bowl and you have three cups of broccoli that you're gonna pour in here and it says to toss to coat. I just want to make sure. Yes, it says in a separate large bowl toss broccoli in the reserved soy sauce mixture until evenly coated and then we're going to transfer to a piece of aluminum foil and wrap to create a foil packet approximately 10 inches long and 4 inches wide and then set aside. So, we're just going to do that. Do a little of this without... Let's see if it will cooperate or if I'm going to have to use my hands to help toss it and of course I just like to get in there and get all messy and my timer is going off because that is the marinade being all done and you will notice I didn't add any salt or pepper just yet and 
and that's quite all right. I'm just going to rinse off my hand really quick here and grab some of that aluminum foil so we can do the foil packet. See what I can do here with this. So I'm just gonna kind of guess. So don't judge if I guess wrong. Actually, it don't matter. So with a decent size sheet. See that? I mean, like I said, that looks good enough for me. Cause it's just gonna go on your bake tray with your salmon anyway. So and now just for the sake of me forgetting, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt on there and a little bit in my with my salmon. Same with the pepper, just kind of do a little bit here. You can always add more later. I just have, my family's a little sensitive to salt and pepper, so I gotta, you know, cook accordingly, if you will. And then, yeah, I mean, this isn't gonna look pretty and it doesn't matter, just as long as you have it sealed so that it can cook and steam. So, like I said, it's not gonna look pretty and it doesn't matter as long as it fits on the shelf. So that's kind of how my, or the bake tray, excuse me. So that's how mine looks. And I have said bake tray right there. And it says to transfer one and a half tablespoons of the marinade to the bake tray itself. And then pay, place the salmon onto the tray. So let me see if I got any more. So this is a half tablespoon measuring cup, or spoon, excuse me. So I am going to spoon out, there's a half tablespoon, and that would make one, and then the other half, and I'm just going to kind of move it around a tiny bit on there. place the salmon onto the tray. Obviously you're going to leave room for your broccoli pack. And so, obviously you're going to see that my salmon fillets are going to be a little big. So, we're going to have to release wish everybody together but that's all right so salmon is on the tray and put it on level two let me rinse off my hands one more time so it's here we are not putting the broccoli in right now we're gonna let the salmon do its thing by itself for a little bit so with that Put this on level one or two, excuse me. I apologize, I'm heavily sidetracked. Well, the girl doesn't feel very good, so I'm trying to do multitask. So, obviously, I'm not going to leave the cookbook on top here, but we are going to uh, do combi cooking, and this is kind of the overview of the whole recipe and ingredients and all that good stuff. You can actually swap out the white rice with the brown rice. So, but yes, we are going to set the temp at 350 and 13 minutes. And then at seven minutes remaining on the timer, we're going to add our broccoli in. So, and we already are on combi cooker side and it's already on combi meal. So we're just adjusting to 350 and 13 
And so I started it so it's going to build up its steam and then again once the timer gets to seven minutes I will add in the broccoli foil pack. All right it has been the seven minutes has passed so I'm going to let all the steam, steam go out and I'm going to see about just attempting to sandwich this on here. It's not going to look pretty and I'm going to just do it kind of like so and we're just going to hope for the best. So in six minutes and 20 seconds we should be ready to go. Alright, we are nearing the last 10 seconds. And we are all done. So, obviously, when you open it, it is going to be very hot. So, just be careful. So you're going to fluff your rice with your fork, but I will open up my little broccoli foil pack. Stir my rice and let it sit for a little bit. It looks really good, so that's always a good sign if it looks good, right? Just be careful when you open broccoli, since obviously everything just got done. I'm going to let you guys take a peek at this too when I hopefully get it all unwrapped without burning my hand off too bad. Alright, yeah. Yes. That all looks really, really good, so... And there is your soy honey glazed salmon with brown rice and broccoli. All right, I did forget to do the taste test on here, obviously. But. It is very tasty.